Hello data enthusiast. Let's learn today how to create a template in PowerPoint, in right? Microsoft PowerPoint. itself, you can easily create that, right? There are numerous way to create. Now in this series, what I'll be cover project management uh, documentation template, okay? For project management, what we required, okay? Uh, and uh, just in a focus on design, how I'm creating this design, okay? This will help you a lot to plot your data and create by your own okay so let me just click on this uh, header first okay this is the powerpoint presentation skills for business okay it help you in your business to create your own design just press uh, control n and uh, we'll start with the beginner scale okay because uh, i believe a uh, majority of the chunk right from discover talent is a new skill and they want to upskill themselves so we'll start with the beginning scale I'll click on this start button first okay and then uh, there is an option called powerpoint you just need to click on this powerpoint and then as soon as you hit a powerpoint this presentation will open you just need to click on this blank presentation okay uh, in microsoft office 365 there is an option called designer which suggest you okay and recommend you the multiple designs okay with the help of ai you can leverage this if in case you need it for a presentation or maybe business skills definitely you can use it but um, i'll show you from scratch how you can create your own okay so let's uh, remove this first because we don't need it okay as we are starting this in a beginner skill so let me just give you the overall idea how it looks like and what is we called it as because i'll uh you know again and again i'll utilize those word which is slide again the shapes so on so forth okay so let me give you the brief overview about it this is the ribbon section okay on the top which will help us to edit a slide specifically right uh this is the slide where we are working on the adding a shapes adding a design adding a color so on so forth right this is the zoom in zoom out section you can do it like this and then this is a slide sorter view okay this is not really uh, helpful for us right now but uh, in later on series right definitely will help us a lot okay so for now whatever we required so far that i gave you the class cool so now what we will be doing we'll just click on this option called design and then here is the option slide size click on this custom slide size and then portrait hit ok ensure fit as soon as you hit a button ensure fit this is how it looks like cool and then the page or maybe the slide we can call it a slide right so this is the slide and the recommendation automatically design is there we don't want that for now okay so what we will be doing right now i'll just zoom in i'll press ctrl from my keyboard and uh, this particular button okay to zoom in so I can get the top page where I can design my stuff. I'll click on this insert option and then I'll say shapes and then I'll add a rectangle. I've inserted like this. Cool. Now you could see we have inserted over here. This is a small preview section, the left hand side for you. You can just move it top and keep it like this just drag it a bit cool what i'll say i'll say a insert again um text box i'll say discover talent pmp project management i don't say pmp it's a project management for me so i'll say project pm that's completely fine and template cool this is what i have just typed over here and what i'll do i'll just select this i'll just move it through a mouse okay and then i'll just keep it on top cool this is what i have did so far and what i'll do i'll just click on this option called font family i'll just select this and then i'll select this font cool which is ms empty pro black 
this is in a font section folks you can, you can see and you read it out over here as well right so font section in this font section you can increase decrease the size of the font or the text whatever you call it as uh, you can you know create a space in between if you need it okay very loose tight very tight something like that you can do it i keep it very loose okay over here and uh, it seems uh, this color and this is not really suitable for me so what i'll do you know before i work on this object i'll first work on this text okay i'll say black uh or maybe i'll keep it a white for now and instead of pm you know i'll say directly say project management project management or should i say data enthusiast okay that's fine i mean project management any which is we are just you know um here for a you know, solution right so that's completely fine if in case right now you can see right um i have intentionally typed this in a small case why uh there is an option called uppercase okay so you can directly simply um click on this option called uppercase this whatever text you have added as a header right automatically get in a uppercase okay this is the very beautiful function from uh, office 365 powerpoint and i love it okay we have our paid version office 365 and we get a very nice features these are the benefits which i'm showcasing you right now okay for microsoft office 365 i love it cool so let's uh let's increase this size once again uh i keep it like this and uh, i'll click on this option shape again i'll select this option rounded rectangle i'll add a like this i keep it like this and uh, i'll say this color cool and for this what i'll do i'll just remove a outline i don't want this outline cool and i'll search if in case you know i can choose any better color for us i'll say green dark green and uh, for this uh, i'll say light uh, green or maybe just pale green i'll just say this and uh, i'll remove a outline for this as well yeah so let's see how it looks boom this is how it looks like stunning one though uh, you can you know add the orange color as well that's completely fine complete you or how you want to keep it okay now i'll say uh, insert icons okay now in this again office 365 i'm you know creating a value for office 365 why again and again because we don't have to worry about the copyrights okay if in case you are searching any kind of an you know, images for your projects right uh, from any kind of a you know, search engine that that there is a chances for a you know, copyright okay folks okay so i would recommend you know ensure that you are leveraging this uh, platform and utilizing this for your business i'll say icons business simply in you know, a stock images and then i'll simply click on this option click on this any of the option right so for me right now it's a project management so i'll say, say this okay and uh, i'll insert it and this is in the small preview you can see it over here right it's already there and you can just drag it at the top and uh, insert it so this is how it looks like for me and now what i'll do i'll just insert a color for here dark green so this is how it looks like for me great and uh, what i'll do i'll just insert a one more line over here which is uh, rectangle again like this and i'll say again uh, white uh, and i'll remove the white outline for this just move the top and for this so this is so far we are seeing it okay 
now what i'll do uh, i'll insert a one more rectangle but prior that i don't know what i'll do uh, I wish I could you know insert more logos over here but this is for on a project management template related activities right folks so what we can do we can you know keep it very professional okay very simple okay to understand and uh, as a layman task you know anyone can create this okay it's a very simple yeah so now what we can do uh, after completing about task you just need to click on this shape rectangle selected this insert like this cool this is what you have inserted and just go uh, the left hand side just adjust this click on this option shape fill no fill and then outline would be green and the shape outline would be like this only great okay so this is the why we are using green again and again because uh, we are adhering the theme right so from top to bottom we need to ensure that we are using the same theme so that's what i know you are um, we are adding this uh, theme cool now what i'll do um i'll just click this option and then i'll just round it a bit like this cool and then i'll click on this option again and icon I'll, say, I'll insert multiple icons okay at this time wherever it fits i'll definitely use those and again it's a complete uo call and uh, you know keep your mind more creative more focused and basis your requirement just adjust that logos okay it's not that you know you can stick with this logos only you can definitely use your own creativity that's completely fine every brain works differently so don't worry about that okay and then this insert it i always uh, you know ensure that my students learn learn new always from this channel okay so i always recommend don't just stuck with this process okay um, always be creative always think creative and think accordingly yeah and and work accordingly cool so this is what i've added these two logos for now uh, now what i'll do i'll just insert a shape once again and this time i'll insert this line cool this is what i've inserted and i'll just say a shape and then i'll say create outline this is how i've inserted now uh, on a a text part we can definitely use that too right so what i'll do i'll just click again insert text box here i'll say initiation initiation this is for me and then i'll just click on this option called bullets right uh, i say business case second i'll say criteria I'll say brief or maybe overview whatever you want to add you can just add it right deliverables business case so just copy this or maybe just move it directly double click bold cool you can change and keep the one formatting uh, for the text for me right now I want this font only so I'll just keep it as is again just control press and move it over here simply um, in this section what I'll say initiation in this section I'll say planning right so basically GAN chart project manager so it's a project uh, you know project map I'll say map basically and then mm, you can say trackers and uh, yes this is so well you know very much important sort analysis great and i think um, you know for this every uh, topic right for planning 
related activities we already put majority videos on our discover talent presents okay it's a free of cost again folks uh, i would encourage you to please go there and watch it out and if in case you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and please turn on the bell icon okay because this uh, information is very really helpful and if in case you are attending any kind of a training seminar right there you must have heard about these terminologies okay let's move ahead and I'll just move this aside and uh, once again I'll just copy this control and I'll just control and shift okay because it will it will not give me the moment like this so just in a direct moment and copy and paste it like this great so what uh, we'll be doing I'll just select this again outline shape outline this time I'll select this color cool and uh, for this text I'll say color this and uh, again this color same color which is which we have applied over here and uh, this will be the lighter color for me great so I think uh, if in case it's not really readable you can again uh, use your own creativity folks okay there's a no restriction no harm you know to why we use that why we are not using that so that's completely fine yeah just a you know, uh, video advisory note is that you know to make you understand how easy it is okay it's not that that much tedious to do you can definitely use it tracking mechanism and the execution Over here again, we'll change the color for this as well. Okay, uh, I'll say for tracking racy on the second part. I'll say a dashboard gap analysis if in case any, and then root cause, which is RCA. Yeah, um, what else uh, for execution? If, you, if in case you know you feel that you know uh, there is uh, something I'm missing you can feel free to you know drop a comment in below section I can add those two uh, tool implementation uh, tool implementation I would say uh, if in case it's a vague that's completely fine you can just say SAP install implement Enter. test case and then um, mm, requirement traceability and trackers once again I'll put a trackers because majority times we also need a trackers in the execution part as well so that's what I kept it as a trackers. again same color pick the same color I want this color so I'll just keep it like this similarly font family this color great boom so let me just see this color again this is lighter one so I'll just pick this one knee and then click here format printer and then boom so this is what it is let me just select this once again format printer great so what I have did I've just you know replicate the same formatting here as well now you might have a question right why we need this logo so don't worry I hear you remove this logos and insert your new logos yeah so you can insert your own new logos again it's in a black and white uh, we can colorize those two right that's completely fine mm, for now we just moving to the next step again control shift and just drag this down cool so we get the new copy uh, all together okay. now the project management so I'll say mm, instead of management uh, rather I'll put it as a communication right uh, communication how will be the communication will happen so I'll say oops something is wrong with my PC folks okay I'm extremely sorry for that uh, communication here 
and the change management. I'll say change management. Now, um, here I'll say request form. which is initiation basically right uh, change log if in case any we are maintaining already right so those kind of activity we can do it impact assessment great so I think this is it for me um, now here we will communication right so communication is a wider scope and we can categorize basis or requirement again status real-time status then planning improvement planned any cool this is what we can add and uh, benefit profile great so let me just uh, change this color once again you can keep green but I think uh, green will uh, pretty much green 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 you know would be a something chaotic okay so I will not keep a green for all so that's what I'm just changing a color again and again okay and uh, simply I'll just follow the same step which we did on the top great so what you need to do simple just select this format painter great again Mm, format painter and boom cool so this is what we have did so far and I think you guys are subscribing my channel right because you're watching my channel <laughs> kidding uh, you can you know definitely if you feel that you know this channel is really helpful for you guys you know please please subscribe my channel uh, which gives me a motivation that you know I'm heading towards a right direction and creating a appropriate content which is a useful again for a business related activities cool folks and I think uh, I'll just use a two more logos and rest of the others I'll delete it that's completely fine cool so what what logos should I choose over here I'm just thinking Mm, we can say WBS management what's it will that be okay and then risk issue log by the way I'm black belt certified in Six Sigma so that's what I know I know this terminologies okay and this terminologies will be a really helpful for you guys okay uh, in your wherever you are working with right or maybe if in case you have a own startup or maybe you are an entrepreneur right these project related documents will really help you a lot cool uh, if in case you are looking out for a certification for Six Sigma kind of you know feel free to drop a comment in below section in YouTube okay uh, because this video will be available on majority other social media platform as well but we don't have that much time to know collate those questionnaires I would request please comment on YouTube so we can read it out and uh, we can launch a certification accordingly again it's in a free of cost we will not charge any kind of an amount yeah let me just create a title incident priority and then cause and effect and then I'll say risk identity risk or maybe RPN number what's it RPN number cool I'm asking this question to the person who is already certified in Six Sigma okay so don't worry about that um, and if in case you are a free you uh, know if in case you are a new I know you are a new so don't worry this question is for you as well this is a tactical question right so this question might be asked or maybe might be you heard from one of the, your leadership right leaders and then I'll say WBS template consolidation and the remarks great 
so what I'll do I'll remove this logo and uh, since it's a logical work for WBSC I'll just keep this and risk issue one I'll keep this boom so this is what we have created and I don't need it so I'll just remove this click this delete button and simply whenever you require this more logo insert shapes icon cool we have multiple logos now let's begin with this tab again I'll just what I'll do I'll just select this I'll move this to the center like this and what I'll do um, I'll click on this option called rectangle okay I'll insert this rectangle like this and uh, I'll feel a color this is and for page cut to cut I'll just manage this cut to cut page size I'll send this to the background cool as soon as I do a background color changes this is how it looks like now move outline and here again it's a bit light uh, maybe just somewhat yeah I think this is enough or maybe what I'll do I'll just select this light get this greenish one it this looks fine now you would see this uh, color we haven't changed yet so let me just change that to um, shape format again um, I love this by the way changing the color yeah uh, I'll keep it purple and this time again I'll say purple how many of you love purple color by the way just a generic question you know I love the purple color so that's what I'm just asking if in case you loved it just comment in below section otherwise that's completely fine it's no restriction to comment yeah so this is how uh, we created our beautiful infographic right uh, in MS PowerPoint and uh, let me just add some sort of information at the bottom as well cool so what was that the question so uh, let me just toggle the screen and uh, PowerPoint presentation skill so this particular line so let me just insert this and capitalize each word and again purple I'll just say Ah, I can see the multiple comments that people are not liking the purple so just click on this option black cool right click PowerPoint presentation skills for business bold it great so this is how you can create this uh, template and share it across with your team members and specifically for a uh, role uh, who are uh, holding with right and they want to understand for project management related activities what we exactly looking out for right and um, how this looks like and what type of templates we really looking out for and basis that you know, we can take our business decision so if in case you love this uh, video please hit the subscribe button okay and like comment share don't forget that okay once again thanks for staying on discover talent we appreciate your time thank you